interesting sense of perspective. What do you think of growing out? Props to the production design. With you. Props to the production design for finding yellow in almost every frame. It was interesting to see literally the two perspectives of her, you know, one way and then the other way, and um, it was it was a very touching story. Just you know how you can just look at something one way and on the outside it appears that everything's fine, but when you see it from the other point of view, then you have then you know what's going on and. It's not exactly as it seems on the outside. When we're seeing her, her life looks fine. But when we see from her perspective, her life looks awful. So from the outside world, no one will understand why she makes the choice she does. If we're just watching her throughout her day, she seems like she's a great life. But when you walk through her eyes and see it from her point of view, her life seems like it's really devoid of any real meaningful contact. And the only contact she has to meaningful with her mother in that one really quick scene is immediately tainted by the rest of the family in her household. I really like the understated turning point where they don't tell you anything. You just see the parking violation notice posted on the windscreen and it's dark and it's gray and your, your head just goes, the car's been abandoned, it's been there for two, three days what's happened, and again, don't slam you in the face, just put it out there and let you figure it out. I was really hoping that we would see a room packed up and the car for sale and she would be like in New Zealand hiking. I was really hoping for that. And they also, she just falls out of frame. It's so quick and you, you hear that little like, and yeah, so that's, I, I like, it, it doesn't throw it in your face, but it does make it clear. I think that film was really like, because she was committing a suicide, it was really like, it was in the real life. It wasn't like in a, all the movies where people are committing a suicide, it's a set music and everyone is crying. No, that is not exactly what it did. Like, and after that, I think everyone should consider like, is it worth it? I, I think it's better to leave because after a um, part of time, like, I don't know, it's maybe a year or less than a year, but I think everyone should leave and uh, I think that suicide is not the exit of that situation and there's no beautiful sad music around and no people. I think uh, like where was the scene uh, with her? In, yeah, yeah, in the school. Um, it seemed like she didn't really have any friends. Uh, like before when she was alive, nobody talked to her. And after that, we saw a lot of uh, words like maybe how they loved her and how it's how they sorry because she ran. But she didn't, it didn't, it doesn't seem like she had any friends. Yeah, there's this notion of you don't know what, it's got, what you've got until it's gone, right? Everybody who kind of sort of ignored her while she was there seemed really heartbroken when she's gone. And maybe, maybe it's not that glamorous. Maybe it, it maybe, maybe it's not that, uh, that tight knit, beautiful full circle when someone's gone. It's probably a lot more complicated. And you see evidence of that with those parents sitting in their best dress before their funeral with their daughters yellow flower and not talking to each other. Like, it doesn't necessarily wrap itself up nicely when that kind of thing happens. But it is still a very emotionally, like it's a, it's a very interesting emotional journey the filmmaker takes you on with their choice in styling their narrative.